This is what home cooking is all about. It's comforting, it's filling, it's absolutely delicious. Today we're making cottage pie and you'll definitely need a nap after you eat this one. Begin by taking one large brown onion, top and tail it, cut it in half, peel it and then cut it into small dice. Next, take one large carrot, peel that and also cut it into small dice. Place a large saucepan or a cast iron pot over high heat and drizzle in 30 millilitres of olive oil. Next, add in the onion and carrot and cook it until it's soft without colour. This will roughly take around four to five minutes. Then add in 750 grams of minced beef and cook that until it turns brown. Once it's brown, sprinkle in 30 grams of plain flour, mix it through and cook it for five minutes. Pour in 400 millilitres of beef stock, followed by 30 grams of tomato puree, 40 millilitres of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, and then a good pinch of salt and grind of black pepper. Mix everything through and bring it to the boil. Once boiling, turn the heat down, place the lid on and simmer it for 10 minutes. While the cottage pie filling is cooking away, we'll prepare the potatoes for our mash. Take 800 grams of a good all-rounder potato, something like Maris Piper, and peel them and cut them into quarters. Next, fill a pan halfway full with cold water and generously season it with salt. Place in the potatoes and put the pan over a high heat and bring it to the boil. Once boiling, turn it down and simmer it for roughly around 20 minutes until the potatoes are tender. While your potatoes are cooking away, take your cottage pie filling off the heat and transfer it into an oven proof dish ready to go in the oven. And we can leave the filling to cool slightly while we finish off our mash. Drain the potatoes through a colander and leave the steam to evaporate for around five minutes. Place the pan back over medium heat and add in 150 milliliters of single cream and 30 grams of diced butter. Warm the cream through until the butter melts. Place the potatoes into the butter and cream, take it off the heat and season it with salt and pepper. Then you can mash your potatoes until it's nice and smooth. Spoon your mashed potato over your cottage pie filling and then spread it out using a fork, making sure you get lots of nice little rough bits that stick up on top because they're gonna crisp up in the oven and be absolutely delicious. Place your cottage pie into a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes until golden and crisp on top. You can serve this with greens or any vegetables of your choice. So that's how I make this extremely delicious and hearty cottage pie. I hope you enjoy making this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.